here we have a simple frame, a little goal post with some UBs and UCs as the main members. And what I want to do is look at the two ways of creating built up sections um, from plates. So one way is to go into properties and the property editor, choose a member and then under size choose to change it. And when we change, we have this one called built up on ASB. The ASBs are special rolled asymmetrical beams. But it's the built up section where you can now turn around and say that I want the top flange to be 200 wide. I want the bottom flange to be 300 wide. I want the web to be 10 mil thick. And I want the thicknesses to be 15 and 15. Now, serial, the overall depth of the section I want to be 500. And the root radius, if I put a root radius in, it's implying that it's a rolled section and I'm just defining it here. By leaving the root radius out, it understands that it's a welded section and I just say save and suddenly that changes to a 200 by 15 with 300 by 15 by that W plated section quite heavy. The other method is sort of the properties editor is to go into the, the member section materials and I'm going to change both these two columns at once so I'm going to go to global so when I pick one I'm highlighting both and if I turn off the 3D sorry the 3D you'll see that these are both highlighted and I come down here and I change from a UC into a built up section and in here I can say that it is 200 with a 100, 200 and 200 for the bottom as well. So 200 by 200 square section with 10 and 15 and 15 materials so 10 web and that is my built up sections done. Now. Once you've got a built up section, if you went in in front view and do a cell form, the section depth does not change in built up sections, only in UCs and UBs would the depth change because you're cutting it out of a UB and then it slid along and extended. When we deal with discrete openings and with cell forms, the plate girders don't change. So I'm going to turn off the cell form and put in a couple of discrete openings. This is 170 deep uh, between the flanges. So I'm going to add an opening that is at meters one, diameter 75, and offset zero. And I'm going to say OK. And there's my first opening. If I come back to this again, I can say in fact I want it to be a hundred mil of opening, a bit bigger, and I want to repeat it three times at a meter apart, so one thousand centimeters. So three plus the original should give us one, two, three, four. So want another one, it will be five times in total, which brings us into four. And there you go. And the same is exactly the same for one of these boys. We can come along and we can say, give me a elongated opening at a meter up from the bottom. The opening end is, is 100, quite big, and the width is 200. And I say, OK. And there's my first opening applied into this beam. Now it's only the circular openings that we can define as being a repeat. Everything else is distinct. Although we do have the lovely facility and I'm just going to close that and turn off the section size so we can see things a bit better. We do have the ability to take one of these and say copy. So we have a second copy of the same one I'm going to make that two meters and apply. So again, using the copy, we can put in the others quite simply. And that's how easy it is to create built up sections and apply openings to those.